How's it going everybody? This is Kinema and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, you may notice something in front of me. Um, first wanted to say I actually not sure what's going on. Uh, right now it seems okay. I recorded a bunch of clips. Um, I have actually done quite a bit of work and I keep having some weird frame issues so um, not sure it's coming across in my raw video files and I just don't feel like I don't think it would be good processing it right now seems okay so um, I'm gonna kind of go through what I've done and um, you know sorry there's already quite a bit other, other stuff done about off-camera um, so I logged in this morning and my maps, half of them were gone. And I, I almost freaked out. I was like, you know, we got the chickens, we got the things not spawning over in the, the spawner, and now half my maps are missing. Uh, I was also having some issues with doors, but I realized um, the zombie pigmen were coming through the portal and actually trying to get in some of the areas and breaking down the doors. Which was odd because I didn't realize the zombie pigmen could break down doors, but I guess it makes sense that regular pigmen can. So, anyway, back to the the map room. Uh, I relogged. They all, all nine of them came back. So what I did, um, oh, they're having that frame issue again. Um, what I did was I actually just put a chest here behind the wall. It has all nine item frames and nine um, pages to the map each section and uh, so once I'm able to get enough sugarcane to get enough paper to copy all of them then I'll probably copy all of them and put them back on the wall and just keep the copies in the chest just in case they uh, you know they're they come off or there's issues or anything so um, Okay, so let me turn around. You may notice a couple of things. Um, got the enchanting room and also started doing somewhat of a path. So, and you know, kind of fixed up some area. So, first the enchanting room, I added lights kind of down here as well for the hallway and came in here, used the same pattern on the ground as I did over there. Or in here so did summer grass and little stuff nothing major and then you can take as long as you have 15 chests or 15 bookcase I'm sorry um, it will give you a level 30 enchants so you know basically you can have them all single stacked just like this and still get the maximum number of enchants which is uh, which is good so I do have a redstone design for switches and um, so you can select you know you can select certain levels of enchants but I didn't have enough space to put it in this location I may do it um, I may move this or I may make another one downstairs that actually has adjustable enchants so we'll see but for now this is my my temporary setup um, I did the roof a little bit different I actually kind of like this a little bit better with the full um, wood on the side the stairs on the ceiling and you get the little indent around it and then this versus this one but I haven't decided to change this one yet. I don't know. Uh, I'll be curious to hear feedback. What do you think is better? Do you like uh, that one or this one? So, um, I don't have any bone mill. Um, I think I showed, oops. <laughs> I think I showed this off with my, uh, what I did in my map room. So I did this over here as kind of, you know, I, I still want to stick with the jungle theme I did put some torches kind of up on each branch, so I hope nothing spawns up there. But yeah, so I kind of did spruce that up a little bit, hid some 
pumpkins down in, in the grass just for lighting, prevent mob spawns. And then this path, you can see it's a mixture of andesite, uh, stone blocks, mossy stone blocks, cobble, and gravel. Just kind of put in a random pattern. Um, actually, I really like it. And you can get the hints of the, some of the stone blocks, but then the gravel and everything. So the mossy um, stone bricks, you used to be only only being, been able to get those in a stronghold. And that has changed. So no, I have not found the stronghold and went to the inn. I just reached up there with some shears, grabbed some vines, put on some regular stone bricks, and there we go. We got vines and stone bricks make mossy so um there's the guys breaking my doors it won't matter I'm, I'm almost at the point where i think i'm gonna just take them all out and just do this nice open design that i've been doing um so this kind of wraps around here i did the same design this is i'm going to need to finish kind of going out here but i want to do something in the middle maybe like some type of a fountain or something yet but i I haven't came up with it yet, so I, I left it. Man, I don't know why uh, getting some frame issues all of a sudden. Um, so this I had labeled in my future plans video as an armor slash weapon room. And kind of upset. I went through the whole thing about making the armor stands and everything before uh, my last clip. Just unfortunately, the lag was so bad that I, you know, if I, I couldn't render it, I, I would feel bad posting it. Um, armor stands are pretty cool. Uh, they add them in the 1.8. Pretty easy to make. Um, you just use a half slab and I think six sticks. It's Put the half slab down at the bottom and then you put the sticks in the corners the middle and then across the top and it makes the um makes the armor stand so my thoughts for in here is i want to collect you know um or make one basically just have all armor sets so leather iron gold um well Leather, I guess, iron, chain mail, gold, and diamond. And then an iron one that's fully enchanted and stuff for doing uh, corpse runs if I need to get back to my body. So that's my idea with that. I was going to do the item frames with weapons like I did over there for the maps, but um, I don't want to really have too many item frames. They have been known that they are entities and as you can see probably a little bit in this video I did have some frame issues um, I don't know I'll have to look at how many frames I'm getting uh, later so I just put the, the two chests here now I'll, I'll keep full set of weapons tools you know anything as a backup tool I'll, I'll put in here and this is kind of my armory slash weapon um, weapon place so I like it it's very basic I didn't do anything for the ceiling like I did in the other two areas so that half is pretty much completely finished other than down here and of course the roof so and I'll think of something to do up there eventually the uh, the other thing I did and it's real basic um, One area, you know, I've said it, I think, before, is I do kind of struggle with interior design, but I have picked up a few things. Um, so, got my bed here. I actually, the reason why I put carpet around it is I did put glowstone underneath it. Um, that's basically to, uh, you know, hide the lighting in the room. I think I still want to do something with the ceiling. Not sure, this is actually the part of the video that I was working on when I decided to do a cut. And I've just been reviewing the video and it's just not good. It's, uh, 
Um, it's not as much choppy as what I'm kind of seeing right now, but it, it's pretty bad. So I'll be curious on how it, the actual uh, performance of it comes out. So, um, yeah, so I got my painting up there. Paintings are real easy to do. Um, I think it sticks just like the item frames, but instead of around wool, it's, or instead of around leather for the item frame, it sticks around wool for the painting. Oh, excuse me. Um, clay pots with, these are actually spruce tree, uh, saplings in them. I like, kind of like that. I thought they looked pretty cool. And then of course you did the item frames with the, um, wooden half slabs to kind of act as handles in the drawer. So, um, those are, I guess you could say they're nightstands, but that's about it. Um, not much, but, uh, I did three rooms, had a full video of it, but I was really upset with the quality. So hopefully this will be better. If not, everything I've said probably won't matter because I'll have to say it again. <laughs> so on to uh, what I had planned today. Um, not sure exactly how long I've been recording, kind of going back over that. But I want to kind of continue around and just finish off these rooms. And then I need to figure out something to do with these two. And I want to kind of keep them the same. Something basic. Um, you know. The armory, the enchanting room, the bedroom. I don't really need to go in that often. Uh, you know, it's it's real basic. So um, I need to, some ideas for this. So if you have any ideas or anything, just uh, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Um, if not, I can, I'm sure I can figure something out. So I'm probably going to do the same type of opening for this this space. Um, that I did for the rooms over there except this is going to just go down as like a, some type of spiral type scare, uh, staircase on down into this section so um, yeah so we'll see how that turns out that will probably be my next project but I'm going to try to I guess I'm going to try to see what's going on with my PC see what's running in the background and stuff because doesn't seem as bad as the previous recordings, but I'm definitely getting a lot of lag and frame issues. So I'll be right back. Okay. Well, welcome back. Um, basically went over things I, I did previously, kind of figured out my video issue. Um, apparently I had uh, some things downloading in Steam, I guess, behind the scenes, because uh, basically, shortly after I stopped recording, um, I had a couple pop-ups saying that some games finished downloading. So uh, that must have been it. I didn't realize things. Uh, I had things queued to download, but oh well. You know it. Uh, it happened. So um, these trees are only temporary. I I needed more dark oak. Um, so I planted some here, as well as out there down there just any any spot that I could find then I'll, I'll chop it all down and that should be good so um, I think I'm happy with my stairwell going down I did change the doorway like I, I said I still I'm gonna have to make another nether trip for glowstone um, at some point so maybe check out that uh, actual fortress I found pretty close to my my nether portal over there. Um, if you didn't watch my um, I'd have to look at my list of videos. I've made so many in the first era in the past few days because I've been on vacation. Um, don't quite remember all of them but uh, yeah there was one video um, I was just searching around and there ended up being some uh, Glowstone fairly close, or uh, a fortress fairly close to my portal, I discovered. So, okay, well, I kind of was talking, but I and walked right into this room, as you can see. Um, this is my stairway. 
So I tried to do some design, kind of like the archways out here to tie everything in together using the same doorway frames. Um, I still need to do the gravel work and the, the road work, but let me go ahead and got a shuffle. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these there for now. I'll put a piece of glowstone here just like I did in the other areas and then get to all of this area fixed up. I've been pulling up these wooden pressure plates. Uh, I may grab some stone and make some uh, some stone pressure plates. That way they fit into the gravel areas over there. So um, I left this for right now. This is not going to be the actual place to go up. I may actually do that in this area. I've been trying to figure out what to do over here. I may kind of do like this stairway goes down and this stairway may go up to a second story. Um, kind of using the same fashion. I don't, I don't know yet. Just uh, trying to figure out what, what looks good and uh, what doesn't. So, um, okay. So this, I, I used alternating pattern between stone steps and the dark oak plank, uh, the dark oak steps, and going down to the dark oak and then down here. So I made sure that these are all stairs with the exception of these half slabs here. That way this hall can be a little, I don't have to worry too much about lighting. I do have um, light behind that stair to give a little bit of a glow and I have a pumpkin underneath here because light does kind of pass through half slabs and stairs um, but not as much it still cuts it down but mobs can't spawn on the stairs or the bottom half slab so that I shouldn't get any type of spawning in here so but yeah this is definitely a lot nicer not cleaner way it goes right to here I was thinking of some type of spiral staircase but I was like no nah, that's yeah figure out coming to here this will lead right in perfectly to what I'm going to do with this area and with my storage room and then I got to figure out how to tie this in so I have some ideas some some pretty ambitious ideas I think for what I want to do at the bottom section that I'll, I'll kind of talk about a little bit later but for now that's that's my stairwell so that kind of gives me uh, another way down um, well the only way down for right now and um, just cleaned it up now I don't have to worry about jumping up blocks I can just run right up the stairs come out here and do my thing so I'd say that's another good another section uh, this video you got to see quite a bit change between the enchanting room armor room and uh, bedroom and this little stairs section over there so uh, I think I did uh, pretty good amount of progress in this. Sorry it was a lot of it off camera and I do apologize about my um, you know going ahead and doing some of this. I had you know in the, the the video clips um, I don't know they just weren't they were too too messed up and too jerky so um, but be curious to hear some comments about these rooms and what y'all think of the base so far. I'll get this area made up just like kind of like little gardening areas like those. Do the fountain, finish this off. Probably may try to do that in the next next episode and also work on getting those stairs or work on this quadrant. So um, I don't know. I'm happy with it. So I'll be curious to hear what people think in the comments. Um, you know, let me know any any thoughts or opinions or uh, anything to uh, I can improve or change or whatever. So I like like hearing feedback, I like seeing my uh, uh, get little YouTube messages. <laughs> it's always always nice. So. Um, even though this is still dirt, I'm going to go ahead and just put those there. That way when I do get around to change it, I can just pop them up and put it back down. I like that a lot better. Wooden one was just too noticeable. So, okay. So, I like that.
Okay, well, I think that's going to be it. I think this video is going to come out to be a little bit shorter um, just because I've done so much work off camera. Um, and I hope y'all are uh, enjoying the progression of my my base so far in my single players um, single player series. And once I finish up top, then I can tackle this awful inventory problem I have. So, uh, and then hopefully just not get in the habit of. I would have liked to eventually do some type of a sorting, um, a sorting inventory system. That can be a little bit complicated, and I've done that in past videos. And I don't know. I labeled all the chests with item frames, and then in between all the hoppers and everything, it you get quite a bit of lag. I mean, even on some of the best computers. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, the entity count between you know hoppers and item frames would kind of uh, go crazy even in a single player world so I don't know how much of that I want to do but um, I think that's going to be it I'll be curious to hear some feedback and um, yeah so this has been Kenema and thank you for watching and I will talk to you all later